Hello everyone. So this is my way of Windows 10 on old hardware success story. Now unfortunately, unlike my Dell Inspiron 9300, uh, it's not a complete success story. Um, and I will explain why. But anyway, as you can see, this is a late 2006 uh, Intel iMac. Uh, it has a Core 2 Duo processor clocked at 2 gigahertz, and it's maxed out at 3 gigabytes of RAM. Yeah, there's the information. And as you can see, it's obviously running Windows 10. Now, uh, only Windows 7 is supported under Boot Camp, that's, that's how I did it. I mean, I Boot Camp. Um, and of course, I just went through the upgrade within Windows 7 to get to Windows 10. Uh, now, what happened here, <coughs> excuse me, what happened here was that, uh, basically there was a driver for the GPU, it has a, uh, ATI, yes, ATI, not AMD, this thing is old, uh, ATI Mobility Radeon X1600, and that was sort of old even when this Mac was new in typical Apple fashion, um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so what happened when I upgraded was it deleted the perfectly working driver in Windows 7 that was, by the way, not installed by the Apple Boot Camp utility. Uh, the install for that failed for some reason. Uh, yeah, Boot Camp utility. Um, and, uh, it just pulled through Windows Update, so there's one rare example Windows Update saving the day, but in Windows 10, Windows Update ruined the day because it uninstalled that driver because the Pokemon we was not compatible. And, uh, and yeah, it basically installed the, the fallback VGA driver, and now you might say, wow, that looks smooth, everything scaled properly. That can't be the VGA driver. You're right, this is not. This is actually a driver that I found, and oh, I spent way too much time trying different stuff. But, uh, so I do have hardware acceleration because I found a driver for the GPU. But it is so old, the driver is so old, and possibly the card is so old, but I don't know, my Dell and Fire on 9300, oh, it plays stuff perfectly, even if it plays it slowly. No graphical glitches. So I don't know if it's the age of the card, I think it's just the driver. Of course, that had something to do with the age of the card, but whatever. Anyway, so, the biggest graphical glitch that occurred was, uh, let's see here, so I had class, classic shell installed, see, like right there, that grayed out. Let's see if we can trigger the issue. Whoops. It often happens to be... Okay. Whoops, you didn't see that. I opened it. These showed up at a delay. And if I do that, other things trigger it too, but, uh... Huh? Can't trigger now. But what'll happen is, if I open the start menu, it'll decide to trigger the bug. And it'll just, uh, when I move the mouse over, both the icon on and the text will disappear. And since I'm sort of refurbishing this computer for my parents to use as a web browsing device, uh, that's what they already used it for, I'm just upgrading it because Apple dropped support for Lion, like, four years ago or whatever it was. So I'm upgrading it, making it more secure by putting windows on it. How ironic. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, we, we need stability, not, uh, yeah, can't have any of that stuff. But anyway, and here's another example of, like, this game on my 9300, which is from about the same time period as this. Actually, I think it's a couple months older. 
exactly what you thought right there. Uh, just not going. Not going good. So far, it looks like it's going good, but believe me. See, look, no water. Frame rate is good. Frame rate is perfectly acceptable, but that's only because it's rendering a fraction of what it's supposed to. Yep, pretty sad. And not even 2D stuff. Not even 2D stuff like Microsoft Solitaire work. I'm probably wasting too much time showing you about how this doesn't work. It's supposed to be <laughs> supposed to be a partial success story. <laughs> anyway, I'm almost done. Anyway, see, as you can see, just not happening. But, uh, web browsing works perfectly fine. I haven't used it enough. I've only browsed the web for about half an hour on this thing, so that's obviously not going to cut it for stability testing, but, uh, but it does, uh, here, let's go to my YouTube. Of course. You know, I could have just done that. Silly me. You know, I'm wasting time with that. Goofy me. What the? Okay, I'm tired. Pardon me, folks. Hmm. If the internet's a little slow, because I'm tethering through the same device I'm taking a video with. Okay. Anyway, as you can see, it scrolls very nice, thanks to uh, Chrome now using hardware accelerated scrolling. Actually, that's, that's technically not true. It's always use hardware accelerated scrolling. It's just using the native API in Windows. I forgot the actual name of it. But anyway, very smooth, very, I mean, more than usable. This is like, this is perfectly good. Um, yeah, just more than just usable. This is perfectly fine. And, uh, it also plays YouTube videos just fine. Here, let me find an HD video. Do I have a good HD video? I think I'm going to play an HD. So the one you put in your mouth. So see, it can barely play HD video. Even though they're wrapped, you know. Yeah. But 720p, if I remember right. Yeah, 720p is just fine. Ready, set, go. Anyway. So, yeah, um, right now I am just contemplating whether or not I should. Because, as you can see, I got around the worst of the graphical glitches by, uh, by installing Classic Shell. So I'm contemplating whether or not I should take a chance on stability and keep it on Windows 10 and uh or whether I should downgrade to Windows 7. Um but Windows 7 has extended support until 2020. And so I'm thinking I might just put it back on Windows 7 and then 2020 <laughs> I'll build him a hundred dollar computer that'll just uh, blow this out of the water in terms of performance. So I think that's probably what is going to happen. But this is sort of a proof of concept. I've seen videos 
with it to back the machine uh, on YouTube with running Windows 10, but they haven't been as detailed as this, and there's no evidence that it actually works. Uh, and so here I'm trying to be more in depth and uh, show you that no, everything does not work. But it works enough that you actually could use it for some stuff, uh, most notably web browsing. Uh, here I'll go to a different website again. eBay. eBay doesn't scroll quite as smoothly. The web page rendering times are very respectable. And of course, uh, you can't, I'm sure it looks just as smooth as the other stuff to you because uh, this video is in 30 frames per second, but the YouTube is like, it's nearly perfect 50 frames per second. Very impressive. Very, I have to say, <laughs> very impressive. Again, I keep saying that, but good, good for Apple and good for Microsoft for making a lightweight operating system. Windows 7 scrolls just as smoothly too, though. Anyway, I'll stop rambling, I guess. I think you get the gist of it here. Windows 10 on late 2006 iMac with an Intel CPU. Possible? Is it practical? That's up to you. If you just need to browse the web, oh, by the way, uh, I do have, uh, there is limited hardware acceleration in Chrome, uh, of course, not even worth using Firefox, no, uh, no hardware acceleration there, that's for sure. Uh, now, uh, in Chrome, the way I got it, it was no hardware acceleration, acceleration at all. But I did the classic uh, Chrome flag override software rendering list. You just go to Chrome flag there and enable that. And uh, and yeah, that does the trick. And no crashes, no BSOD yet. But that's a yet. And uh, I obviously don't live with my parents there. They're somewhat far away. So, um, so that means, uh, that stability is an issue. Again, I really think I'm probably going to go back to Windows 7. But, proof of concept, cool. It was really infuriating at times. I mean, I literally spent about six hours trying to get a GPU driver to work. I went way overkill. I, waste, I think that. I think it's fair to say I wasted my time on that. But hey, I got to work. Uh, and I will leave the GPU driver, link to the GPU driver rather, uh, in the description box below, just in case you have this computer and want to tinker around with it. And hey, I have a Windows 10 license on here, so there we go. If, if I ever need it, I have the digital entitlement for this machine, but I doubt I'll need it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.